Former One Nation Senator Rod Cullerton denies he was shaping up to another man during an altercation outside a Perth court. The senator has defended his behaviour during a confrontation with One Nation member Anthony Fells, who had been trying to give him a petition from creditors alleging he owed them money. He was sporting a few bruises, but no broken bones. Well, my throat is very sore. I, I got a, uh, obviously a hit in the throat. My neck sore. My my right side of my shoulder sore. You know, I'm bruised. I got jarred. You've also got a. But I'm not. I'm not a hypochondriac. I need to just look. I'm not here to show my my injuries. <laughs> The WA senator fell to the ground during a scuffle with One Nation member Anthony Fells. He got up, removed his jacket and lunged towards Mr Fells. But he denies he was picking a fight, maintaining he was the one under attack and that his response was appropriate. I threw my jacket off because I was constrained. In actual fact, that jacket happens to be one of my favourite jackets. And, you know, I, I took it off. I, I actually didn't quite know what was going on at the time. But I didn't shape up. I took it off because I wanted to protect my family. The scuffle erupted while Mr Fells was trying to hand Mr Cullerton a petition on behalf of creditors. But Mr Cullerton denies he owes them money. These guys are not creditors. And why don't you go and do your homework and ask them, you know, prove what, what, what the money is because it's all new to us. One Nation leader Pauline Hanson has distanced herself from the incident and Anthony Fells, who is hoping to be pre-selected for election. I'm not impressed with it at all. And um, he was serving papers itch. It was nothing to do with One Nation. It is a civil matter. Mr Cullerton has been declared bankrupt by a federal court judge and has previously said he intends to appeal against the decision. Well, that's like the sequel, isn't it? You'll have to just wait and see how it all plays out. Mr Cullerton has been interviewed by police over the court altercation and says the matter is now in their hands. Courtney Bembridge, ABC News.